So, I changed my mind. And hopefully for the best. I mean, that's the reason why I changed my mind. At first I thought I'm gonna use a MDF uh, sort of baffle that is the frame for the panel itself. Downside of that is that I'm not sure if the width of the frame is big enough to keep the tension on the foil, that's one. Secondly, I cannot redo the panel if, if I somehow want to change something or fuck it up. So all the effort in making the frame uh, would be wasted if I make a mistake in the foiling of it. So I will make one of the panels like I used to, but with the metal uh, lining up to the magnets etc. So that uh, needs, first of all, different metal, a little bit wider. So I cut four pieces uh, two days ago, which I can throw away. Which I'm not gonna do, of course. It, it can be used for something else, but... So I have to cut two bigger ones, or at least one bigger one for this panel. And two if I want to test push-pull. Uh, and make two frames. So I'm gonna make a template to um, line up the H HPL spacers I'm gonna use. Uh, so I can line it up with the metal, so later on I can... Um, put the magnet jig in and have all the magnets uh, aligned as good as I can. So making a template from hard board which is pressed wood as well with some oil I guess I'm not sure it's what well, I think MagnaPen uses this for their spacers but I don't have much luck with that uh, as well as this being too thin for me. Changing the setup also uh, saves me a trip to the hardware store to get a huge sheet of MDF, which was first off annoying to get, and secondly, um, economically not ideal. I mean, I could get two frames out of a whole sheet, or a whole sheet like a sheet of this, just because of the sizes. It didn't fit like this, so you waste a lot of material. So, as I do here, but this is of course like one euro or so. Another reason why I do it like this is that the strips I I cut from with a like a normal saw. I don't have a saw table. As you can see, they, you know, they're not perfect, and it's gonna be hard to make like gazillion strips that are exactly the same without a saw table, just with the guide. It's not going to be perfect. In this case, the imperfections uh, will be on the outside, so on the non-crucial side. So these, the inner part of the panel will be accurate every time, except that the outside might like change half a millimeter or something, which doesn't really matter. It's the inside that comes. <laughs> that sounds cheesy. But yeah, although I could like think of a method of doing it more accurately. I could use the machine for instance, but I think it's a waste to do this kind of long cuts with a uh, CNC and screw up your cutters that are, uh, well, more expensive than the material, so far more expensive. So I just use a normal sum. Here I used a wood saw, which is not ideal. Uh, I never used the blade yet, but I bought a new blade for HPL. So I must install it and try it once I got new material to cut. Usually buy this uh, second hand for this kind of purposes. And don't use the black stuff, because the black stuff is nice looking and expensive. And this could be had cheap like second hand because I'm only gonna cut strips with it 
and the color don't mind uh, doesn't mind much or at all it can be white or whatever they got so there's more chance of finding it in the thickness I want which is four millimeters in this case I'm gonna use this tape I think but I might not have enough and the reason is if I would use this piece of wood when I'm gluing this chances are that I glue in my template and with epoxy that might be forever so this is polyethylene tape and uh, epoxy as well as well actually every glue I know of does not stick to polyethylene so that's nice To re poke holes for the things to line up with once more. Not sure how to do that. I think I'll use my soldering iron. So, safety glasses and plastic hands. It's required. Also scuffed it up, etc. Now I should be able to place this here and do kind of the same. Um, so my alignment thingies. I think it's this hole. <laughs> So we got two panels and there is a soft side and a sort of raspy side. You could use this as a uh, parmesan gre uh, grater, I'm pretty sure. The reason is because it's punched in one direction and creates like a burr. In this case I chose to have the burrs on the top side. 
because it is kind of like a grater and um, the idea is that it holds the magnets in place better than if I chose the smooth side and as well the smooth side might be nicer to look at on the outside although I don't spray paint these panels but in the end that should be an option but first I have to kind of degrease them because when they are pressed they're covered in oil to prevent rust and the epoxy doesn't adhere very well to it as well as later on I want to use the 30 f in the middle part which uh, well doesn't like oil as well so I have to clean this and I didn't find a great solution to do that still if I use paper this rasp thing will chew it up and you got like crap all over the place so I use cotton just some oil, oil towel or you know just something this is an oil dish towel thingy I'm gonna use it with some alcohol and it might be you know I don't have like brake cleaner here so I'm just gonna use that the expensive one or I'm gonna go use the cheap one if I got any oh here the reason is this one is really good in some particular jobs degreasing they do both kind of rather well I could use other crap I think but this is what I use Yay! Gluing time! So I need it in a 1 to 2 ratio. So I'm not sure how much I need, I just... I don't know, I'm just gonna gamble I guess. So I start off with the epoxy itself. Like the resin. I'm gonna... I think 15 or something might be yeah, 15.5 I need 7 point uh, 7.5 of hardener so let's like zero in good enough I do like this epoxy it comes in metal cans doesn't like that's oops all over the place it doesn't make a mess it doesn't smell really nice let's turn it up applying this is kind of a, a thing so far that I don't actually know how to apply it without too much hassle I'm gonna add another cup just to be safe what I did previously was just uh, I'll start with this one just take a side and just like spread it like sort of a well let me show you 
Oh no. It's gonna... Get like that. And then spread it around. Okay, so worst part, I've done. Now a piece of this. Now I'm gonna try to add weight without like moving it too much. So I got cat litter. What else do I got as a weight? I got my vacuum pump. No! Fuck me! That thing is heavy. It's like a one block of metal. Let me add some sand. No, it's leaking. Well, I'll fix that later if I can. I probably can. bag of stones is leaking so there is, are stones all over my house now. Ain't that nice? Well at least this is the first time I've got I still have clean hands which is rather nice. Just dump them in here and uh, let's wait. We can make some coil. <laughs> 